It's that track only car, sadly. I kind of, I mean, I don't know. The T50 is kind of celebrated for being understated, but I wish it looked like that. <laughs> that was, that's very serious. So, this is the T50S, and it's the first time that they've revealed the sort of production spec of it. So, track only, I'm sure it's going to be absolutely ludicrous, and it's still got that ultra high revving, naturally aspirated V12. So, it'll be a special thing. Maybe take it somewhere to put some road legal substance on it. <laughs> Finally, Lucy's granddad died. He was a collector of Alfa Romeo. So I had a, a, a 2000 GTV, a 1750 GTV, and a 1600 Junior, uh, which were all beautiful. You know. Do you wish anybody? You still have them? Just, I do, you know. But at the time, yeah. they're absolute rust buckets. <laughs> <laughs> Right down to the uh, the chassis needing replacing and everything. Really? Yeah. yeah. But then yeah. they're so beautiful. Yeah. And uh, and I still wish I had one. Definitely. It's you know. funny because the resto mod world didn't really exist. Then, no, right? it didn't. At all. Yeah. It wasn't a thing. Yeah. I had this uniform cool. one year. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> and, Did then you then I, and then. Uh, Classic. Can you imagine having one of these at uni. Come on. Oh, and then I changed it up to a Lotus Esprit. Oh, what? <laughs> Casual. And then a Lamborghini Espada. What? Oh my. I had a Mini. <laughs> I had a Peugeot 106 diesel. Keeping it real. XND. Oh when, you left, when you left the campus at uni, like everyone would hitch back to Sussex Uni as well as like, people would hitch back into Brighton. It was only like like 10 minute ride, you know. So I'd be there screeching to a halt in the, in the, uh, the Lamborghini the Lotus. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, jump in. <laughs> Reading between the lines, he had a very entertaining <laughs> university program. What was your first car? It was a Ford Fiesta. What's your porn name? <laughs> first pet, and Mom's your mate, brother's maiden name. It was a Donker, means dark. Donker, this is already amazing. <laughs> Donker, yeah. what's the second name? Y your mum's maiden name? Yeah, that's Donker. Okay, what, was, what was your pet's, your first pet's name? It was a Black Cat. What was it called? <laughs> Hell, Jesus. Like uh, Baco, named after Bacardi Cola. Right, so, so Baco Donka. <laughs> <laughs> this is the bar. What's your porn name? Oh, yeah. Baco Donka. Baco Donka. Porn name? Oh, you don't want to do it. <laughs> I do. You know what my mum's <laughs> maiden name Come on. Come on. Come on, you've got to roll You've got to do it. What was your first pet? I haven't just had first pet in the last few years, Hendrix. Okay, Hendrix. Oh, this is going to be good. Yeah, Hendrix. Hendrix cock. <laughs> this is real. This is real. It's real. It's real. <laughs> oh, well, yours is good. Mine was um, Benji Shenton. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's Wiggle Smith. <laughs> I like Hendrix cock. Hendrix cock. <laughs> And many I like. Say I do like. Just five older cars are getting cooler, aren't they? Like massively. Increasingly more cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I mean, huh? like, this wasn't this cool when it launched. No. It's funny, isn't it? I, I, but I, I think. Like what age were you when you had no, your first F40? Like <laughs> <laughs> after the Espada, he went. To, after yeah, after uni, straight into an F50. <laughs> 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 In fact, before the uh, before the Lotus had a Porsche Turbo. <laughs> what? <laughs> what well, this? not the Turbo. It was the uh, Bus the Speedster, 911 Speedster. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Step by step, good? bro. Step yeah? by step. Good, good. So, hey. Everybody. Nice to see you. So, what is your top three here? Top three. Yep. Or top one or minus one. <laughs> oh man, top three is difficult. I'm gonna go for. Uh, I like the Koenigsegg Esco Attack. Yeah. I like the Gunther Works Turbo. Mm -hmm. And over there is a Ferrari F50. Good. Uh, it doesn't in no particular order, but those. Yeah. Those three will do. What about yeah. Lamborghini concept? I'm not a fan. They put a battery in a Lamborghini. It's not. Uh, it's not my idea of a theatrical driving. Experience. We will make so. a swap. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. If there's if there's availability to do a, a V12 transplant, that would be interesting. What have you seen? 
Um, Would you like? So not a lot. Uh, making network with car brands. So I filmed only uh, this war premiere for Lam okay. Lamborghini. We posted already on Instagram. Already good numbers. It's flying up. Nice. You know. Yeah. Now also we need to find daily driven exotics. We'll see. He's in the same white suit as me. That's right there. Perfect. That, look at this. There guy. he is. Look, look at, at this guy. guy. He's copying you, right? Yeah. Oh, that's so unfair. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who, who is copying? You are copying him or he is copying you? What is going on, man? How are you? Step by step, bro. You look good. good. Yeah. Who's making the dirtiest here, Nico? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so like let's go and talk to the boy. Oh, well, no cigarette. This is actually a selfie stick. It's not that <laughs> Hello. How, how Long time. Very well. Good yeah, how are you? Good this to meet you. This is my uh, parasol man. Parasol, parasol man, it's a real yeah, pleasure. Yeah. How are you? Well, I'm just happy. <laughs> <good. laughs> yeah, yeah, he's just joking. Yeah. Marek, these guys in the yeah, yeah. Max. Max and Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miles. This is my brother in law, Max. Oh! How are you doing? You're right. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. Watch your step. Oh, yeah. Coming through. Coming through. This is actually a Jordan car. What have you been we doing today? We just took a helicopter this morning. Did a little bit of real, I'll call it real drone footage. Real drone, real, big, big boy drone footage. Well, exactly. Close enough to getting as hooded in as possible. Super cool. Yeah. Beautiful. What's up, Dad? I just saw your, your what's happening. Wasn't that cool? It's a little late. Uh, no worries. Cars. That's okay. That's good. I decided last minute, as always. Let's go. Here we are. Finally made it over, man. You good? Good, mate. Good to see you. How's the show been? Mate, it's been... Uh, it's been hectic. How was the reception been uh, to this? So, we, we had a press conference this morning. Uh -huh. And I started the car up. Wow. People lose it. When you're not supposed to. Okay. But we did it anyway. <laughs> Give it a bit of a rev. Then we said, right. Come and have a look, and literally the, the, the stand got mobbed with people this morning at the press conference. So the reception's been fantastic all day. It's so it's busy. It's been hectic. Look at this. Look at this. There is nothing like that here. I love this thing. I love it. We've got it running and stuff. So as a top line then, uh, if you haven't watched the main video, we've done like an in-depth walk and talk on this. Um, but we were here 12 months to yeah, the day literally when, when yeah. you guys unveiled the sort of project tornado yeah it was like not the concept version it was a sort of no it was production, production car. stage yeah. but it wasn't yeah. as far advanced as it is now yeah well it's evolved a lot like we talked about in the video we've done so much r&d a lot of things have changed cars got a lot more power uh well you've driven it you know so um bonkers yeah well absolutely bizarre yeah and there's a first drive video coming that's right within a day of this yeah. going out um Talk, talk to me then about the charge cooling and how that improved so again. Um, the charge cooling came way, way more efficient from the original setup. And that just bumped power up. We gained about a hundred and something horsepower just by the changes to the charge coolers. But the delta in terms of temperature drop, it went through the roof. So 198 degrees Fahrenheit at the top to uh, 88 degrees Fahrenheit at the bottom, just through two and a half inches of charge cooling radiator was mad. So, and that was like 60 degree ambient. So obviously the air is a lot more dense and we got, we didn't expect, we expected a gain. Yeah. We didn't expect that much of a gain. But it works fantastic. And we've been battling the car around the track. Uh, it's going to be at Laguna on Sunday uh, for the hill climb. Yeah. Neighbors are making loads of noise. So yeah, we'll, we'll wrap that. Should. Yeah, click the link below. More insight into this. It's very, very special. So this What's the is differences? Our, uh, Touring spec, we've got the uh, touring specific turbo ducktail, and we have these turbo fan wheels that actually are aero. It pulls air out of the wheel well, and uh, you know it's got the new carbon rear parcel shelf where you have a, a fitted luggage that is uh, housing two helmets. So perfect track car, and also the grocery getter. <laughs> How was the press conference? This morning, I heard Best it was great. Is good. I'm John did a great job. You've been over in Europe a lot. Yeah, I spent six weeks this summer straight, yeah, like nice. July, June, June, July. Yeah. Just, I was in the UK for like three weeks, and then Greece, Belgium, back and forth, Brilliant. racing, Portugal. Winning. Really? Yeah. What's been the, your favorite circuit out there so far? It's got to be Spa. Oh, right. Yeah. I knew you were going to say Spa. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's amazing, right? It is just an incredible. I love a track. Every day track. Yeah. 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 It's like even after I left, I was like, I could have left. So much more. Yeah. Like, the just got so much you can give it. It's just like really trusting. Uh, Are you serious? What we did is we put the uh, like the uh, almost like the uh, baseball glove leather on. Yes. It. So it's just you know, 
Oh, just crazy, isn't it? It's actually quite quite a simple cockpit, isn't it? it? Is, it's quite yeah. pure. Yeah. yeah really nice. There's not much to it. That's probably what you want at that speed. Yeah. <laughs> not many, no, not yeah. many distractions. Yeah. So one's a roadster and one's a coupe. Yep, that's right. Phenomenal. And it's yeah, they're, they're actually the cool thing about them. They're kind of like twins. Okay. The uh, the Vipers that John has from the 90s that became famous, that, that uh -huh. the Hennessy Vipers, yes. this was the inspiration from. So these are the okay, actual only two cool. heritage wow. uh, editions of the Vipers. So the Vipers are the white and blue. And um, I actually have a, his cars in my storage garage right now. And so wow. we'll park him inside. <laughs> That's so very we, cool. We did a whole photo shoot with them. So it's cool. So these guys brought a Venom, like a very early one, down to us a long time ago, maybe two years. And I remember seeing the fuel rails on top of the engine. It looks more like an offshore powerboat. Yeah. Like it's just the most incredible engine. It is insane. Yeah, when you remove that lid off of it, the engine is yeah. just wild. Especially going to the factory, they're in Sealy. They're sure. 50 minute drop for us, minute drop for us yeah. uh, in Texas. And when you go out there, they actually have the big block from just sitting on the mound. You know, <laughs> just a like, massive nice. chunk. Yeah. Good, man. How, How are you? you? Yeah, really, good it is. really, really cool. Hey, what's up? Oh, really hey. cool. Yeah, it's I'm been great, mate. It's been fantastic. It sick. Uh, I'm not sure if it does. <laughs> <laughs> No, this was driven yeah, by nice. Nico, of yeah, all people. Right. So he turns up and he's like, I've got everyone new suits. Yeah. And these were the new suits. So it's been fun, man. It's been cool. It you know? kind of fits. It's, yeah, it kind of fits. Yeah. You know, it's, it's fine. It's, it's a bit fun. of fun. But, uh, but no, it's been great. Yeah, really, fun. really nice. Where have you been? Oh, we've been all over. Yeah. yeah, we spent some time bouncing around different brands. And, yeah. and then we ended up back at... Koenigsegg and yeah, I never saw you at the house but you did it yeah I went to the Christian. house yeah. did the thing with Christian yeah. man he was on form I hear something about getting into the back of the car and jumping out maybe what, what, <laughs> is, this? <laughs> what is this do you have it so yeah yeah he has it Jesus why we, or well, I love it Christian but, opens uh, the boot and he goes you know what you, you could get in there yeah and he looks at me <laughs> <laughs> you came all the way from Sweden. The tickets are crazy. This bit's nice. That's a... yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. No, no, the, the way he said, you go, oh, new V8. And he goes, yeah. <laughs> new V8. Shuts so the boot. There you go. <laughs> so it's fun. Yeah, you got some. Yeah. Well, you shut up! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, it's all on your back! Oh, um. no! Oh, no! So that was quail, boys, yeah? That was quail. That was quail. That was quail. I have no idea what we captured, what we shot. We spent a lot of time with Koenig's egg. I think we got a lot of we good did. stuff, actually. Fantastic. Yeah, very good. Yeah. I also got lots of yeah. dirt. Yeah. So you've got some proper Miami Vice styling. Yeah. So when you said you were putting NOS in this, is that actually real or is that for sure? No, it's actually called a wet kit, too. And ironically, NOS makes a kit for a Dodge Caravan. It was a part number. Are you kidding and me? I said on the box, yeah, 100%. Oh. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> so, is this active? So the tank, unfortunately, is empty, but basically you would open it up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. I can't believe who's driving here. <laughs> oh, what on earth is going on? on. No, no. <laughs> 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 well, now, now I'm really glad that this isn't working with him behind the wheel. Yeah. Oh, it's not a good idea. This is not a good idea. <laughs> Alright, we are showing up to the Koenigsegg house and I see some hypercars, a Bugatti, and uh, unfortunately security from Nico. Nico, be nice. That was a nice intro, I didn't have to speak. Thanks for the <laughs> Hey, welcome, I got you. So is it yeah. this There's the crest. crest. That guy's wearing our suit. Hey, He's taking our suit. He's taking our suit. <laughs> 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 what are the chances of that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And there's there's uh, there's one thing rocking up to the Koenigsegg house and a supercar, but what about a a super caravan GT? I mean, this is the the levels that we're sort of dealing with in terms of the kind of <laughs> cars that park up here. <laughs> Bugatti 918, a Senna. We rocked up in the in the Dodge Caravan. <laughs> it's the most fun. The irony of this, sorry, buddy. Me, sorry. The, ir the irony of this last year was we had the caravan and we turned up in several supercars and by far and away we had the most fun in that van. Inception. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Look at the location of this place, it's absolutely stunning. And we've come at the, the right time as well, the sun is setting, so we've got some beautiful light. Sadly, this guy's ruining the picture. I need an expert to explain this to me. I mean, we're really lucky to go to some properly cool houses on this trip. I think, and I'm obviously slightly biased, but I am pretty sure Koenigsegg is the coolest. There's bigger. Um, I've not been to the JLR, the Jaguar Land Rover, or the Land Rover house. Apparently there's no J Jaguars there, but apparently that one's pretty, pretty huge. But this one is properly cool. We're gonna try and get to Lamborghini after this. But the idea is, um, if you haven't watched any of the previous vlogs, I'll just set some context for you. Throughout these hills here, all throughout here, are incredible villas like this. And brands rent them out. Think of it as like brands doing Airbnb on steroids. And they rebrand them. Hence up there, look, you'll see the Koenigsegg sign. And what it allows them to do is create a branded experience so that they can have full control over the experience of how they want to represent themselves and provide a VIP experience to their clients. And so they take out these villas alongside turning up at the actual shows themselves. So they can be at the Quail, they can be at Pebble Beach, but also invite VIPs and prospects and clients and partners up to their own branded experience. And think of this like every major luxury car manufacturer is up in these hills renting villas like this for a week. It's, it's a properly cool experience. So the game is hit as many of these as you can. So normally on the main channel, uh, I would ask these two guys to move and, and we would make some really slow, sexy music montage B-roll. But because this is the uncut channel, we shoot it like this just to show you how cool it looks. And normally we get all high frame rate and slow and glossy and it might look a little bit like this. Right? <laughs> but now we just throw the camera around at it <laughs> and it just looks cool. So that's how we do it. That's how we do it. Anyway, we're gonna go inside and take you for an insider's look at the Koenigsegg Villa. Oh, keep talking over the music because YouTube doesn't like it when there's any form of mainstream media on any sort of publication. Oh, oh dear me. How are you doing? How's everything? You good? How are you doing, man? How's everything? Are you good? Yeah, good, good. good to see you. Yeah, have you had to bump into this degenerate? <laughs> so check this out. What a view. Right over there is the bay just overlooking Pebble Beach. Down here is the second layer of the Koenigsegg Villa, which again, uh, just keeps opening up like a massive TARDIS. But they've got extra bar and canapes and drinks and things down here. But one of my favorite features has got to be the mini putting green. I'm not sure if they've got any of the, uh, they haven't. Oh no, there might be one over there. But last year they had Koenigsegg branded golf balls or should I say Ghost Squadron branded golf balls? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> I love it. Very cool. So yeah, this is the villa. This is the back of it. You've just seen the view for some context. And now it's getting to the evening. This here is basically what every other villa's like. It's just full party mode. We're gonna bounce from here and we're gonna catch up with that man there, Dave from DDE, and we're gonna head over to the Lamborghini Villa. So find out what's what. What do you think? I know what you're playing, right? That's a hell of a gaff, this, isn't it? Oh, this is amazing. Look at that. It's a ghost in the Pretty side special. There. Yeah, yeah, I just spotted that little ghost squadron symbol. Here's yeah. the good news. Go on. I have the address to the Lamborghini house. Let's go. They have wristbands to get in, but you know what, though? It doesn't matter. We're distinguished. I think it'll be okay. I know somebody who knows somebody. Yeah. Okay. Let's roll. All right, seamless transition to the bar. So down here, cocktails being made. Um, I just find it fascinating how international it all is. Obviously, the, the, this whole event, um, Car Week, based on the West Coast in California, but the amount of people that I've met from all over the world is properly cool. And most of them hang around uh, where the bar is, frankly. Now upstairs is the uh, slightly more chilled environment. This is where the food is taking place as well. And most brands, as per Koenigsegg right here, are hiring magical people like this to create magical food like that. That 
feels like good timing. Could I possibly have one of those, please? <laughs> Excellent. They look, that looks incredible. Look at this. Thank you, sir. Wow. Look at these micro burgers. So, um, yeah, this is what goes on. Incredible spread of food. Just all around good people. All right, if you watch the main channel, this is where we filmed that video. You wouldn't believe it. I mean, it's uh, obviously crowded now and all of the VIPs, etc., are here. But uh, this is the environment where over the last two years we filmed with Christian on cars which are just being unveiled. And then if you do a subtle transition here, this is where uh, Koenigsegg are keeping their cars uh, for VIPs and their actual factory cars on the drive. And they're taking clients and prospects out for drives during the evening. So you can just hop into a CC850 or a Yesco and just take it up the drive. Pretty cool, man. It's yeah, nice. I'm out. Yeah, yeah. I respect this isn't the best lighting to show you what I'm about to show you, but parked in an empty driveway next to the Koenigsegg house is none other than a McLaren Sabre and a Seto Fiorano SF90, an Aston Martin 177, and a GT2 RS. This place is ludicrous. Look at this, though. Look at the flip paint on that. So, so wild. And just over there, you've got the highest concentration of Koenigseggs currently in the world. The significance of this is it's a one of 15 car. You heard that right, 15 in the world. And you can think of it as a project that was actually led by a group of McLaren clients out in the US. And it was only made to be available over in the US. And just look how dramatic the flip paint job is, not, is on this. I only have to move a few feet. Look at that blue to purple in a few feet. Paint's incredible. Um, it has the engine that's pretty much out of the McLaren Senna. So it's the flat plane crank, four liter twin turbocharged V8, um, but incredibly exclusive. And as I mentioned, only available out here and sort of designed in collaboration with a small group of clients from the US and this is the resulting product. So to see one is incredibly rare. Right, hoping this music isn't copyrighted because the music playing in the background is great for setting the scene, but we've just got to the Lamborghini Villa. It's absolutely incredible. There's basically a generational lineup on the entry to the villa. I mean, we've got Diablo here. We've got a Murcielago Super Veloce here. Uh, one day I would dream to do a manual conversion on this. This would be spectacular. And of course, the very latest DNA of the Revuelta, which I cannot wait to experience. If you've been following the main channel for some time, you may uh, remember that I'm somewhat of a gearbox snob. <laughs> what I mean by that is the single clutches in the previous generation um, Aventador were not conducive to the most seamless uh, gear shifting experience, but this twin clutch box, naturally aspirated V12 with hybrid assist. I'm so glad Lamborghini pulled that out. So congratulations on that. Uh, cannot wait to experience that at some point. So anyway, it's hard enough to get in here as it is. With some luck, we can go in there, show you around, but I've got a feeling it's gonna be full of mainstream copyrighted music, which YouTube doesn't allow. So if I can't show you around, really sorry i'll just send some flashes out on the camera to give you a flavor of what's going on inside <laughs> but i'll tell you something they have gone all out on the branding and the experience so this is the main door hello look at the villa it's looking pretty spectacular here lamborghini branding everywhere do you remember earlier i was telling you about the experience of how brands uh rebrand their villas to make them feel like you're in an entire Lamborghini experience in this particular instance. This is what happens throughout every villa. They do a takeover and they end up making it an on-brand experience. 